This is the FTM 3200 and I wanted to do a Mars mod to this radio and looking around online I'm not really a quick Google search not really finding a lot of information so I figured I would do a quick mod, uh, video showing what you need to do to get it done and maybe um, hook it up to a dummy load or something and see if it'll if it'll work afterwards generally when you do this most radios and I'm sure it's about the same on this one it's gonna wipe out whatever programming you have in it so you wanna back it up and a quick note on programming um, if you're going to use software to do it the uh, you've got to get the cable that plugs into the front port there um, same cable for 3100 and a few other radios works fine but uh, the radio the USB cable that comes in the box that plugs in the back panel here um, is not for programming um, so you have to go through the front so anyway I'm going to show you real quick uh, using uh, I guess this chopstick here and it's, it's a zero ohm resistor right there. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. There we go. So right there, that little resistor right there. Pop that off, and um, should be fine. So one thing to note: this cover is plastic, which I had no idea. It's plastic. Who would have thunk it? I don't like that, but it is what it is. Um, when you're taking it off, you got, there's three screws on the rig, one screw on each side, and then uh, one here on the top. Um, and you got to kind of bend it around these uh, posts, uh, mounting posts on the side of the rig. Uh, but since it's plastic, it bends and it will pop right off. So let me, uh, I want to heat this thing up with a uh, little uh, hot air gun action probably. Um, or solder iron, but probably this hot air gun, and then knock that uh, zero ohm resistor out of there, and I'll fire it up and do a quick test. All right, I'm back. Probably hear the heat gun in the background. Um, anyway, there it is. Popped it off, and the uh, zero ohm resistor is sitting right there. Um, you can probably see. Go further. Zero zero on it. Zero zero zero. Anyway. Um, so I'll do a quick test and we'll see where we're at. All right, and let's see, here we are. Um, after the fact, right out of the band, I got it plugged into a demi load up here on the rack. And as you see, it transmits fine. So I did lose all my programming, like I said that you would, but uh, I was able to restore what I had back with Chirp. Chirp works great. 7.3.